The House and Senate recently passed the 2024 National Defense Authorization Act last Thursday. We have great things in the pipeline. Uh, there's a lot of details involved, and rather than rush you, I want to turn it on over to my chief of staff, Bobby Srindy. As Guam Delegate James Moreland returns home for the holidays, his office hosting a press conference to break down what's in store for Guam in this $886 billion defense spending bill. It's now on the president's desk awaiting his signature, Moreland's chief of staff, Bobby Shringi. Uh, all indications are very clear that the president will be signing uh, the measure into law sometime this week, hopefully in the next couple of days. He says the measure authorizes up to $3.2 billion for various military projects for the island. Over $166 billion uh, for communications upgrade at JRM, about $2.2 billion in new and continued military construction projects inside the military installations, Camp Laws, Anderson Air Force Base, Naval Base. Uh, we're also talking about $27 million in Air Force Reserves, a portal, portal facility, $6.9 million to complete the National Guard's Readiness Center. That's our local boys and girls, by the way, our sons and daughters. There's also about a $100 million increase in funding for the Guam Missile Defense System, bringing it to a total of $545 million. And over $290 million is reserved for military housing inside the fence, though the chief of staff was unable to identify at the time how many units that would build. The more we could invest in military housing inside the fence, the less of the dependency is going to take place for the local inventory, the limited local inventory to be touched. This as local residents have been experiencing a rising housing market and apprehension with some 5,000 U.S. Marines expected to relocate to Guam. Let's be honest here, this correlates to rising housing costs. He adds it's a priority for the congressman's office to secure more of that funding. Plus a key provision, the five-year extension of the H-2B visa waiver for Guam military projects, along with the living quarter allowance. The program was set to expire at the end of next year. If enacted, the NDAA extends the expiration to December 31st, 2029. Guam, unfortunately, does not graduate enough skilled individuals each year. It's great that we're having graduations at GCC. It's wonderful. But the demand is going to require thousands of bodies. Aside from the monies, there's also language in the measure that mandates defense leaders to submit reports briefing Guam about various military plans. Mitsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.